This is an important one. You know, this is something that kills hundreds of people every single year. And you may be thinking, okay, that's true of a lot of safety issues on the road. But safety advocates say this one is different because this issue has a simple fix and they say it could save those lives. This is what happens when your car hits the side of a truck trailer and crashes under. They're called side underride collisions. It can be a horrific crash. The uh, passenger or driver is going to be hit in the head. About 200 people die this way every year. She had a lot of um, personality. Yeah. Yeah. Roya was definitely my best friend. Lois Durso's daughter, Roya Sadi, was 26 years old when her car skidded out of control in a blizzard and slid under the side of a truck trailer. Roya died instantly. It's 12 years, and I feel the pain every day. A tragedy beyond anyone's control, Durso thought, until she noticed something during a trip in Europe. Looking at all of the trailers, tractor trailers, they all had side guards. Side guards like these, required on most trucks in Europe since 1989. She started digging, and experts told her something she says made her angry. If the, the trailer had side guards, that she would have survived. Aaron Kiefer is a forensic engineer. I've seen the carnage that can result when a vehicle strikes an unguarded trailer. He set out to engineer a solution. It's two pieces of aluminum and a tensioned polyester web between them. Kiefer gave us a behind the scenes look at his crash tests. We're about to take a look at what a side underride collision looks like with no guards. It's pretty devastating. Yeah. Now we're going to take a look at what happens with a side guard. made a big difference. It's intact. That is night and day. The Department of Transportation has been considering mandatory side guards since the 60s. In 2014, the NTSB, a government advisory board, recommended a rule requiring them, citing a study that showed guards reduced the extent of nine out of 10 side underwrite injuries. But the trucking industry lobbied the Department of Transportation to reject the recommendation. The Truck and Trailer Manufacturing Association declined our request for interviews, but pointed us to this letter to the department, arguing that side guards are not cost effective and raising concerns that the guards could weaken parts of a trailer or dangerously increase their weight. It would save a lot of lives, but the trucking industry opposes it. The Department of Transportation and its Office for Highway Safety, NHTSA, declined to talk to us, but the former head of NHTSA, Joan Claybrook, did. Claybrook and other safety advocates have long pressed NHTSA to take action. NHTSA can pass safety rules itself, or Congress can direct it to do so. Why does it take so long to move the needle on this when people are dying every year? Because the trucking industry gives a huge amount of money to members of Congress. There's a lot of influence that comes with those contributions. According to OpenSecrets.org, members of the Senate Transportation Committee received more than $9 million from the transportation industry in last year's election cycle. Senator John Thune, who received $731,500 in the last five years, became chairman two years ago. It's completely his responsibility. Absolutely his responsibility. Why do you think Senator Thune hasn't acted? Well, I'd like you to ask him that question. So we did. The former head of NHTSA, Joan Claybrook, specifically named you, said you have the power by legislation to order DOT to act on this, that you could do it easily, that that is in your responsibility as committee chair. Well, she also sent a letter to the current administrator at NHTSA last summer, basically saying NHTSA has the authority to do this and has been putting it off for a long period of time. Look, we can, we can talk about whose responsibility it is, but the, the point is we want to do everything we can to make our roads safer. The fact that you've received more than $731,000 from the transportation industry in the last five years doesn't make you more partial to that industry aggressively lobbying against this. What I'm interested in is safety, and we will take steps that we think will make our roads safer. Is there a specific question you'd like to bring to people on these Senate and House committees? Yeah, the, the, I mean, it's not a question, it's a statement. You're negligent. Do something about it. Do your job. Make them safer. When a victim's family says they believe you've been negligent in not moving on this issue, what's your response to that? Well, look, um, we, have, we every so many years move a highway bill. And I'm sure there are many things that people would like to have included. And so our job is to look at what we can do to make our highway safer. And if uh, side guards on trucks is, is something that, uh, that, that fits that definition, then obviously it's something we'll take a look at in this next bill. It's really outrageous that uh, people in power don't seem to care enough to do something about it. But we are not going to give up.
In the absence of federal action, some cities, including Boston and San Francisco, have started mandating guards on trucks they purchase. If you have a strong opinion on this, you can write to the Department of Transportation or to the politicians on those committees. We've got a list at today.com. Guys? Wow. I love when mothers and pe ordinary people step up and mm -hmm. use their voices. They have been fighting for wow. years on this. Incredible. And I think there's an opening for a lot of people in Congress to potentially speak on it one way or the other. And there's Let's a template in, in Europe. So Absolutely. You can see it's how been it attempted be elsewhere. All right. Yeah. Rona, great Thanks, job. Everyone. Thank you very much. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.